YouTube, it's your boy Ray Tone. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys how to basically reduce lag and reduce um, crashing on the RPC SDM later when you're playing um, certain games. But before we get started this video, please make sure guys you like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new because it helps out the channel out greatly a lot. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Now I'm going to be um, showcasing you guys certain settings on basically that's mainly focusing on crashing and reducing lag when you're on the RPCS3 emulator. As you guys may know, this emulator is pretty, um, what's the best word I can explain to this? Pretty advanced is uh, due to the fact that the PlayStation 3 emulator is, it's kind of hard to emulate. So as you guys may know, you're going to see some pretty wacky settings <laughs> on, on the configuration, the configuration tab. So that's how PlayStation games always been pretty hard to emulate. I think be at the PS2 era. So enough with me rambling. So we want to go to the configuration settings. Now when you're in configuration settings, the best settings are always the Recomplier LL V a uh, VM. So both of these should be good. Always use enable loop detection. This helps with your, um, if you're using, I believe I three or I five. So if you're playing a really strong game, that's really demanding like the last of us or Metal Gear Solid four which those games work really well with stronger PCs. Obviously, um, enable loop detection is pretty good. It helps improve upon um, crashing. So that's really, that's really um, pretty good. And you go to the GPU tab, obviously Vulkan using a NVIDIA graphics card. Now here, I wouldn't recommend using 400% because I believe that's on um, 4K. I'm just gonna reset it here to 100% to basically help my experience due to the fact that if you're playing things at a higher resolution, you're you're more you're exposing yourself to more, I'll say, lag and making the game crash even more. So do keep in mind with that. Um, 16 by 16 is good. Aspiration, aspect ratio uh, 16 by 9 is good frame frame limit i'll say always try to aim for 60 fps this doesn't as funny as it sounds when you mess around your frame limit it helps improve your experience of the game and doesn't really affect on um, making the game um crash <laughs> as funny as that sound uh disable vortex cache I say this is more more helpful when it comes to glitches, experience like in-game glitches when you're playing the game. Being sync is uh, something that should be on on no matter what um, emulator you're playing. Why color buffers? Um, this is basically something that's broken in the game that basically helps with it. All right, all right. After that, when we go to the advanced tab, now. If you're, if you're experience, um, a lot of crashing, a lot of lagging to like extreme amount, that's when you should be messing around, really mess around with the driver wake up. Um, when you're, when you're trying to basically adjust the settings on the driver wake up, the best setting is you always using a hundred U, um, us. That's pretty good. It also helps with crashing a lot. And then V blink. Um, frequency or use 240 um, Hertz it's also good and clock scale um, default usually default is it should be good on clock scale in my opinion and also uh, what's another thing that's really helpful now if you guys are really really um, tacky with this emulator there's a way you can um, unlock the accurate settings under the T TSX instructions, which this, the TSX instruction enable in this really helps with, um, crashing to a good degree. 
due to the fact that if you experience a lot of crashing, the second best suggestion is enable the T TSX instructions. And when using the TSX instructions, you also use um, dis disable. And then when it's under disable, the thread is always, the CPU thread is two should be good. And then mega or either giga is usually pretty, pretty safe on that side. After that, you press save, apply to that. And also another bonus you can, I'll say you can add to this is using it in the video control panel. If you guys see my previous videos, you know how this basically works. We're using, we're using, um, we're choosing everything, Nvidia using our Nvidia graphics card for basically everything for our exp uh, experience when you're playing games. Uh, use my preference, always go to performance, manage 3D settings, using the video processor, default settings is usually good. Program settings, I end the video processor, you add, obviously using the RPCS3 emulator, apply that. Default settings are good, basically apply to that. close that up and it basically sets. So I hope this basically helps you out. This is basically the settings you use to basically reduce lag and you see um, crashing. It's, if you experience a lot of crashing, these are the settings you use. So that's basically about it. If you guys enjoyed this video, find this video any helpful at all, feel free to like, share, and also subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. And yeah, guys, this is your boy Brady Tone. See you guys in the next video.